Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and happy Monday. So we are headed over to CVS to do our first CVS haul for this week. I've actually recorded this intro at least four times because I feel like I'm talking so much in the intro and I hate having long intros. I feel like some of you guys enjoy like listening to me talk, but other people are like, mm, why is she talking so much? Um, so let's go ahead and hit the major wickets. So we're going to CVS. It's a pretty good week. Definitely if you have some good CRTs. Um, your CRTs are personalized so they're based on purchase history i did not start out getting these majorly awesome crts i did not when i first started out couponing i had higher out of pockets because i did not have the crts that everybody else did and i understood that and i had patience with cvs i had patience with my crts and you know i did have higher out of pockets when i first started before i started doing youtube videos um and I just, I knew that at some point I was going to be able to do what everybody else was doing and getting the lower out of pocket. So I learned how to roll my extra bucks. I learned to just go ahead and do smaller transactions. You do not have to do large transactions like a lot of content creators. A lot of us do that for you guys so that you guys have more options on what to do in transactions. If it was up to us, a, a bunch of us would probably only do a small transactions, you know, throughout the week. A lot of us would not do massive hauls in one day. Um, what's something else to keep in mind? Inserts. So buying inserts. I did not buy inserts this week. I did not buy inserts last week. For the month of August, I have only bought inserts for the first week of August, which had the P&G inserts. And there were a lot of inserts in there. So that's why I went ahead and purchased them. When you were budgeting out money, which you should be budgeting out money, especially if you are not a content creator um, and you are a newbie creator or a newbie um, couponer and you're watching all these content creators, please do not get overwhelmed and feel like you have to do everything that they're doing doing in their videos please do not do that you need to budget out your money so when you get your paychecks to decide hey this is how much I'm going to set aside for couponing try to stick to your budget as best as you can it might be hard when you're first starting out you also want to include in your budget the money that you're paying for your inserts I get my newspapers from the dollar store so they are literally a dollar for four newspapers I pay about four dollars and 35 cents if you're paying three dollars plus per newspaper that's something that you have to consider okay should I really be paying for these newspapers every single week or should I be debating you know hey this week I'm gonna skip it and next week I'll buy it this week I'll I'll skip it next week I'll buy it kind of keep that consideration also if your store is in more than like 30 minutes away from you you definitely want to consider all the gas that you're wasting driving to the stores I have a couple farther out CVS's that I will periodically go to just because the music is lower in those stores so it's easier for me to record in store instead of having to do a voiceover there's also some Walmart's that are farther out that have better clearance but I don't drive to those all the time because it's farther which means I'm wasting more gas so just keep all that stuff in mind um, I think that was it. Budgeting, inserts, CRTs. Just have patience. Just honestly, genuinely, just have patience with CVS. Have patience with your CRTs and they will start coming in. You just have to have patience. They are based on your purchase habits. So when you're doing your transactions, try to do small transactions. Please do not try to do the huge hauls that other people do in their videos please do not do that if you are a newbie and you're not an actual content creator like actually putting out videos for people and that's why you're doing huge hauls just stick to the small hauls until you're able to get the hang of it and then it'll start to flow naturally for you so if you guys have any other questions about cbs um budgeting coupons when i buy inserts stuff like that go ahead and drop a comment down below also let me know what you did this weekend i was able to accomplish cleaning some items in the house i decided to clean um like one section at a time so I still have some more cleaning to do. I still have to put my stuff away from last week's couponing hauls. Um, but my husband's off, so now I can make him help me put that stuff away. But let me know what you guys did below down in the comments. And let's go ahead and... promotion buy two get a four dollar extra buck so i'm going to pick up two of them for five dollars but i'm also going to pick up the third one so the third one i think is going to ring up as 2.99 and the reason why i'm picking up a third one is because i have a buy two get one free crt i also have a dollar off the paparazzi wipes that is attaching to the nail polish so if the third one is priced at 2.99 after the buy one or buy two get one free crt and the dollar crt i should pay about four dollars and 49 cents but get back the four dollar extra 
extra buck making it just 49 cents my kids love nail polish so i don't mind paying a little bit for it L'Oreal L5 Shampoo and Condition, they're on sale this week, two for $8 and on promotion by two, get a $2 extra buck. So I'm going to pick up two for $8. We've got a four off of two digital coupon and we just got four off of two printable coupons. They should both apply, so we should pay nothing at the register, but get back the $2 extra buck, making it completely free and a $2 money maker. The L'Oreal Ever Pure Shampoo Conditioner, they're on sale, two for $15, but on promotion, buy two, get a $5 extra buck. So I'm going to show you the tag right here because I want to show you something. So remember last week I was saying that the tag will normally tell you the individual price for the item. So right now they're two for $15, but you must buy two to get that price. So the third one, if you buy three, the third one will bring up a $7.79. So we're actually going to pick up three. The first two would be $15. The third one would be $7.79. We just got a seven off of three digital coupon. And if you still have this seven off of three printable coupon, this will come off as well. And I'm also going to use a three off of 18 shampoo and conditioner CRT. So we should pay about $5.79, but get back the $5 extra buck, making just 79 cents. And it's all going to track towards CVS Beauty. So next we're going to do an oral care scenario. So my tag is, my store is not tagged yet. So I had to actually scan the items to A, make sure they were included and B, make sure they're on sale. So the sale that's going on with the Colgate Optic Wipe and a couple other Colgate toothpaste are on sale for $3.99 mm -hmm. and on promotion buy two, get a $4 mm -hmm. extra book with a limit of two. So I already scanned these Optic Wipe right here and they're on sale for $3.99 and included in the promotion. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up two of those for $3.99 each. We're also going to do a separate Colgate deal. So select toothbrushes and mouthwash are on sale for $4.49, but on promotion buy two at a $5 extra buck. So you need to make sure you scan if your store is not tagged. My store just hasn't gotten to this aisle yet. So we're going to go ahead and scan to make sure that it is actually included in the promotion, but we're going to pick up two of the toothbrushes on sale for $4.49. And then to max out that deal, we're going to pick up two of the Colgate mouthwash that are also on sale for $4.49. Again, make sure you scan your items either in the app and then click on it like if you were going to add it to your cart and it should show you the sale price or just take it up to the coupon center. It should show you the sale price as well. All right, guys, so here is our complete Colgate oral care scenario. So all of these items are going to total us $25.94. I'm going to use a 5 off of 25 Colgate CRT. We have a $2 off one toothpaste digital. I have a $1 off one toothpaste digital. I have a $1 off one mouthwash digital. I have a $2 off one mouthwash digital. And I have a $2 off one toothbrush digital. And then when you go to the Colgate website, you're able to print off printable coupons. So I printed off a 75 cent off one printable coupon for the second toothbrush that I don't have a digital coupon for. So we're going to pay about $12 and 19 cents, but we're going to get back $10 for this Colgate and the toothbrush deal for maxing it out. And then we're going to get back $4 for the toothpaste deal because we didn't max it out. We only did a limit of one, but it'll still make everything here free and a 181 moneymaker. Next, I'm going to pick up the CVS Health Brand Odor Control Spray Powder. So it's priced at $6.49. I have two CRTs for $3 off that are attaching, so it'll make it just $0.49. Cents. It is included in the Spend 40 Get 10, but I'm not going to complete the Spend 40 Get 10 on this card today. Next, I'm going to pick up this different toner. So this, I don't think this is on promotion, but I just really want to get something that's going to help with my face being super oily. So it's priced at $9.99. I have two CRTs for $4 off different acne products that are attaching. Then I'm going to submit to I bought it for $2 back, so it'll make this completely free. Next, I'm going to pick up some Dial Body Washer. It's on sale two for $7. Do not do this if your store does not accept expired coupons. So I'm going to pick up two of these for $7. I'm going to use this buy one, get one free expired insert coupon. It should take off $3.50. And then I have two CRTs for $2 off Dial Body Wash. One of those are going to adjust down. So two of these will be completely free. Select Snacks. They are on sale. Buy one, get one free. And I got a text send to card coupon for buying it one free of any snack product up to a five dollar value so i don't know if anyone else in my house is going to eat these fig newtons but i like them they're buying it one free at 249 that crt should make the second one completely free and the first one will be free with the sale 
Select cookies or crackers, they're on sale for $3.99, but buy two, get a $2 extra buck. So I'm gonna pick up the Nutter Butter right here. There's only one left, so that's why I brought it up here for $3.99, and then one of the Oreos. I have a two off of eight cookie CRT. I have a dollar off two cookie CRT that attaches to both, and this 75 cent off one off the Oreo cookie. So we should pay about four dollars and 23 cents but get back the two dollar extra buck making it just two dollars and 23 cents for two we have enough oreos but i haven't picked up nutter butter and my husband really likes those all right guys so i'm going to show you this here because the speaker was really loud where i was standing but i'm going to pick up this cerave hydrating sunscreen for the face it's priced at 17 dollars and 99 cents I'm gonna use this $4 off one printable coupon that I got from their website when we sign them for emails. And then I have two $5 off CRTs that are attaching. So we'll pay just $3.99 for this, no extra buck back. All right, so now we're gonna work with my second card and we're gonna go ahead and work on a spend 40, get a $10 extra buck deal. So I'm gonna pick up one of these Downy Unstoppables that are on sale for $4.94. I'm gonna pick up one of the larger Downy Unstoppables for $11.94 on sale. And then I'm gonna pick up one of the large Tide Liquid on sale for $11.94. Last thing I'm going to pick up is going to be on one of these CVS brand shoe insoles priced at $8.29 and then I'm also going to buy one of these shoe insoles priced at $4.59. All right, so here's our complete spend 40, get 10 scenario. So all of these items are gonna total us $41.70. We have a $3 digital for the Tide Liquid. We have a $3 digital for the Large Downy Unstoppables. I have a $2 digital for the Downy Unstoppables, a smaller one. Now you wanna scan the items because when I checked online, this purple one was the only one attaching to the $2 digital. So just double check, maybe it's just my account, but we're gonna use a $2 digital. I also have a $3 of 15 Tide Simply, um downy crt that's attaching to the two downy unstoppables i also have two four dollar off two shoe insole crts and i have a four for 12 cvs brand foot care product crt that's attaching to both the shoe insoles so we should pay about 18 dollars and 70 cents but get back the 10 dollar extra buck for the promotion making all of these just eight dollars and 70 cents which i think is a pretty great deal for the large tide uh tide liquid all right, guys, so I'm going to show you this scenario over here because there was a mom with her daughter in the shampoo aisle, and I don't want to record when there's children in the aisle in case they run by. I would hate for, like, the camera to catch them and stuff like that, so I just refrain from doing this. It's a personal preference, so we're just going to record it right here. So we've got the L'Oreal L-Vibe 2 for $8 on sale. Buy two, get a $2 extra buck. The okay. So Cozy Kids was actually... Uh, no, they're at home. <laughs> um, the So Cozy Kids, they are uh, $10.29 and they're on promotion. Spend $10, get a $5 extra buck. I use this in my oldest daughter's hair because she has more of the, um, the thickish hair like I do. My youngest has hair like my husband. So this works better in her hair than like the cheaper brand shampoo conditioner. So I'm going to pick that up for $10.29. So all of this, that brings us over $18. I'm going to use a 3 off of 18 shampoo shampoo conditioner CRT and then for the L'Oreal Elvi remember we have the 4 off of 2 digital coupon that will glitch with the 4 off of 2 printable coupon so for all of these we're going to pay $7.29 but we're going to get back the $5 extra buck for the So Cozy and $2 for the L'Oreal Elvi making all three of these just 29 cents and I love when this deal comes around I think I missed it when I first walked down the aisle but I love when this deal goes around for the So Cozy it does really well in her hair the last deal that I'm going to do is going to be on Select Dove Degree Suave or Secret Deodorants. They're buy one, get one 50% off and on promotion spend 15, get a $5 extra buck. So I'm going to pick up two of the Degree Dry Spray for $6.99. The second one will be half off. And then I'm going to pick up two of the Degree Dry Spray Men's $6.99. And the second one will be half off. That's going to total me about $20.97. I have a 3 off of 15 deodorant CRT. I have a 1 off of 5 CRT for the Degree Dry Spray. 
We just got new printable coupons for $3 off two for the degree women dry spray and for the women. So I'm gonna go ahead and use one of the women, one of the men, and we just got matching three off of two digital coupons. Those will glitch with the paper coupons if you have them. So if everything comes off the way it's supposed to, we should be left to pay about $4.97, but we'll get back the $5 extra buck, making all four of these completely free. Can you hear the rain in the background? I really don't like Florida. I want to go back to North Carolina. Like truthfully and honestly, like I'm so over it right now. I really want to go back to North Carolina. Um, so everything went pretty well in store. The only issue that I had was the, the cheaper of the shoe insoles. It was not included in the promotion, even though it was tagged. So I think it was just tagged incorrectly. Um, so they just went ahead and gave me, they forced printed me a four or a uh, $10 extra buck for that promotion. So if you're going to do something similar, this one right here. So this one was not included in the promotion. Um, this one was included in the promotion. So if you're going to do something similar, instead of picking up this one, um, you might just need to pick up another one of these or try to get a, a cheaper one of these um, if you have the CRTs, but this wasn't included. So I was short like $3.11. So when I did the math, I was like, oh, it looks like this wasn't included even though it was tagged. So I showed them and they went ahead and they forced printing me the $10 extra buck. So that made up for it. So I would just keep that in mind. If, if I were you, the easiest fix to it would be to just instead of picking up this, just to pick up two of these if you have the same CRTs that I do. Um, everything else came out perfectly fine. Um, the glitches all happened with no issues. The degrees all happened with no issues. When you're scanning your coupon for the degree, um, make sure that you scan, like, scan the item and then scan the coupon because sometimes when it's like items and like coupons, they'll attach to the wrong item and that may mess up the digital coupons coming off as well. So as soon as you scan the two degree men, go ahead and scan the three off a two printable coupon. The same thing with the women, go ahead and scan the three off a two printable coupon right after it. I do it all the time. And if it's a cashier that I don't normally work with, I let them know beforehand, hey, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna scan the item, scan the coupon. And they normally don't have an issue with it, especially when I explain to them, it's gonna make it a little bit easier and lessen the chance of something like happening, like something going wrong. But everything else turned out pretty well. If you guys have any questions about anything that I did in the video, go ahead and let me know down below in the comment section. I'm gonna drive home now because I literally am still in front of the store. I'm probably just gonna edit the video right here in my car um, and then try to get home as fast as possible so I can I connect it to Wi-Fi so I can go ahead and upload this video for you guys. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video anyway. Make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.